excitement of, of the team, obviously. It's a different time of year when you start playing tournament basketball and, and going to New York City. I, I got to think for a guy in your spot, it's got to be a pretty cool time of year. Yeah, I think our team, you know, really excited. Uh, a lot of guys in the locker room are ready to, you know, get this this trip going. Their bags are packed. They're ready to get on the bus, and move to the plane, and um, I think everyone's just excited to get there and you know get the process sort of started. So, yeah. How big of a deal is a conference tournament? Because so many people point to the big dance, uh, but to play in Madison Square Garden, the Big East tournament, I got to think is it's a pretty cool honor for a college basketball player. I think for our team and Xavier in general, it's you know it's a huge thing. Um, I think if you look at the teams in the past that played in the A10 and won you know back-to-back -back conference champions and regular season championships and stuff like that, you know it means something to Xavier and it means something to us. Where you know we want to get a better seed in the NCAA tournament, we want to prove ourselves. You know we want to beat teams that. You know, we take personal if we lose to them. So I think it's a big deal for us. Do you feel pretty comfortable with this team's resume that, that you are a tournament team at this point? I think so. Um, you know, over everything we've talked about as a team, you know, with the coaches, between us, what we see um, in the media, I guess, I'd say we're, you know, I think we have a spot somewhere in the tournament, but by no means are we comfortable or um, compliant, complacent with, um, you know, what we're slated as or how we've done so far. I think we always want to win more games. And, you know, we're going to New York City with a goal of winning a Big East championship. Matt, how would you characterize uh, Xavier's rivalry with Butler? And were you glad to see that you're playing them just because it adds a little extra something maybe? Yeah, I, I think we really like playing them. You know, they, they got us at their place. And it's something where I think it's a, a rivalry sort of growing. I think it's still there right now. But I think it's one that's, you know, growing as more games get played because, you know, they're, they're a couple hours away. It's, you know, something where I think both team, both programs sort of came to prominence at the same time. Maybe Xavier a little bit, a little bit earlier. But, you know, it's something where – you know, we don't want them to steal our thunder, and we're trying to steal their thunder. When you played in the first time, Andrew Strabus had a big game against you guys. Second time, he wasn't here. What's it like um, for you to guard him, and has that changed the complexion of what they can do? It's tough. I mean, he's a non non traditional center, um, so it, it's tough to guard him. You sort of chase him around. He can shoot. I mean, that's not his that's not his go to. He doesn't want to you know shoot threes first, but he can definitely knock them down. And I think this time around, we'll have you know. Uh, maybe a better game plan, or uh, I'll be able to do a better job. But um, I think we have some guys who are going to step up. We're going to give them some, some problems with that. So. Are you going to shoot some more threes? <sighs> I'm, I'm just hoping I make some threes. That's all. I don't. I don't really care about shooting them as long as we make them. So, yeah. For you personally, to have the big game you had at Creighton, it had been a kind of a rough go the previous three, four games for you. Was that big for you personally to come out and have a good performance right before you start playing really big games? I feel confidence-wise, yeah, it felt good for me. Um, you know, I'm obviously glad we won. It would have been all for naught if, uh, if we would have lost. So, um, you know, I'm just glad I was able to knock down some shots and put my team in a good position. And I think, you know, that's what's great about our team is, you know, over the season you've seen a lot of guys step up, you know, D. Davis, Miles Davis, Jalen Reynolds, you know, just guys who've had really big games. And so it doesn't really matter, you know, who's doing it as long as we're winning. So. You guys have stepped up in these big games, even with Bellanova here. You had them on the ropes there late. Did you guys, is there something different this team does in those situations? Have you noticed it? Can you say what it is that makes you guys play well in those type situations? Yeah, you know, I think a sort of a sense of urgency. We've talked about um, lately that, you know, you can't in those crucial moments sort of be lackadaisical or not have, have a feeling that, you know, hey, you need to step it up. And I think our sense of urgency has, you know, grown as the season's gone on. And our team's done a good job of, you know, stepping on the gas pedal and saying, hey, this is a Crunch time. This is where we need to get things going. So I think we're going to do a good job with that. What would make this weekend successful in your eyes? Winning games. Um, you know, I'm not going to peg it as anything. You know, our mission is obviously to to win a Big East championship. But you know, success is measured in a lot of different ways. And I think you know, we got to take it one game at a time. And you know, success for us right now is beating Butler. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey, man. Have a good trip.